promise you'd never told me. If I didn't know, I'd be happy right now. I try to forget. Tonight I did for a while, and then I saw them gathered around you. I saw the way they looked at you. I know that look. So many people have looked at me that way, but never here. Never on this side of the sea. I told you I don't want it. It doesn't matter what you want. You didn't want to be king in the north. What happens when they demand you press your claim and take what is mine? I refuse. You are my queen. I don't know what else I can say. You can say nothing to anyone ever. Never tell them who you really are. Swear your brother and Samuel Tali to secrecy and tell no one else. Or it will take on a life of its own and you won't be able to control it or what it does to people. No matter how many times you bend to the knee. No matter what you swear. I want it to be the way it was between us. I have to tell Sansa and I... Sansa will want to see me gone and you on the Iron Throne. She won't. She's not the girl he grew up with. Not after what she's seen. Not after what they've done to her. I owe them the truth. Even if the truth destroys us. It won't. It will. I've never begged for anything. But I'm begging. Nothing will change that. And they're my family. We can live together. You understand we'd all be dead if not for her. We'd be corpses marching down to King's Landing. I was the one that killed the Night King. Her men gave their lives defending Winterfell. And we will never forget them. That doesn't mean that I want to kneel to someone. I swore myself and the North to her cause. I respect that. You respect it. We needed her. We needed her army. Her dragons. You did the right thing. And we're doing the right thing telling you we don't trust your queen. You don't know her yet. I'll never know her. She's not one of us. If you only trust the people you grew up with, you won't make many allies. That's all right. I don't need many allies. Ah, yeah. We're family. The four of us. The last of the Starks. I've never been a Stark. Oh. No. You're just as much Ned Stark's child as any of us. You're my brother. Not my half brother or my bastard brother. My brother. It's your choice. I need to tell you something. But you have to swear you'll never tell another soul. What is it? You have to swear it before I tell you. How can I promise to keep a secret if I don't even know what it is? Because we're family. I swear it. I swear it. Yeah, yeah. A pair of tall blonde chops. 
the throne of the Black Wolf here. Where's your drink? What are, you, what are you doing up north? What are you doing with that? Oh, this? This is for you. For both of you. You're supposed to be south. You boys are a pair of gold-plated cunts. Do you know that? That's a bit rude. Year after year, I've shoveled Lannister shit. What do I have to show? You're a knight, thanks to me. Thanks to me. And that title's worth as much as a blonde hair from your brother's bulls. How are his eyes where men believe? Shut your mouth. I'm just trying. I've never hit a dwarf before, but say another word and I will belt you. See, I don't believe you do that. <laughs> you couldn't do it on your best day, you one-handed fuck, and your best days are long gone. Oh, uh, you broke my nose! I did not break your nose. How do you know? Because I've been breaking noses since I was your size, and I know what it sounds like. Now listen. <laughs> your sister offered me River Rock. Nice big castle, good lands. Plenty of peasants who do what they're told. You trust Cersei. I knew your sister was dead the second I saw those dragons. Now, your army may be torn to shit, but I'd still bet on your dragon queen to win. And it just so happens I'm a betting man. If Cersei's dead, she can't pay up. Mm, that's good. Of course, the odds change if the dragon queen's hand turns up dead. Maybe a few of her top generals get picked off one by one. All of a sudden. May I speak? Why not? Only death will shut you up. <laughs> we made a deal long ago, do you remember? If anyone offered me money to kill you, you'd pay me double. What's Double River Run? I got him. <laughs> of the reach. Hi, Gotham, are you mad? It's better than being dead. He's not going to kill us, he won't be talking. <laughs> The way I see it, I only need one of the Lannister brothers alive. My God will never belong to a cutthroat. No? Who are your ancestors? The ones who made your family rich. Fancy lads in silk? They were fucking cutthroats. That's how all the great houses started, isn't it? With a hard bastard who was good at killing people. Kill a few hundred people to make you a lord. Kill a few thousand to make you king. And then, all your cocksucking grandsons could ruin the family with their cocksucking ways. Hi, God. Give me your word. You have my word. None of this means a thing until we take King's Landing. We ride south in the morning. We could use an officer with knowledge of the city's defenses. Oh, no. My fighting days are gone. But I've still got a few killing days left, do you hear me? I provoke her. How is that in the best interest of your family or the North? You're afraid of her. Every good ruler needs to inspire a bit of fear. I don't want John to go down there. The men in my family don't do well in the capital. No. But as your brother once told me, he's not a Stark. You've seen that. You've seen how they fight for her. She wants to make the world a better place. I believe in her. Heal. He doesn't need me weighing him down. You weigh as much as two fleas fucking. <laughs> I'm taking the free folk home. We've had enough of the South. The women down there don't like me. This is the North, you know. And the free folk are welcome to stay. It is at home. We need room to wander. I'll take them back to Castle Black as soon as the winter storms pass. Back where we belong. It's where he belongs to. Will you take him with you? He'll be out here up there. So would you. I wish I was going with you.
It's his farewell then. You never know. You've got the north in you. The real north. Best friend I ever had. You too, sir. 